unlimited academy pages and invisibility cloak do you guys want this stuff well if you do this is the video for you so stay tuned and in today's video i'm showing you guys how to get unlimited academy pages really fast in prodigy so without a further ado let's get straight into our video you must have access to the academy you must have access to academy archives and you must have access to the earth tower I mean, you don't need to have access to the Earth Tower, it's recommended. There's six ways of getting Academy pages, right? So now, there are two methods of doing this. Well, number one, you could use the Academy Archives, or you could use the Earth Tower. Now, I would personally recommend using the Earth Tower because it's much quicker. But, but we'll start off with the Academy Archive. So now, in the Academy Archives, you have to collect five golden pages. And while collecting those golden pages, you guys can end up battling monsters. Now, every monster you battle, you get five Academy pages. Now, you can only battle two monsters in the Academy, which is okay on its own. And you guys get ten Academy pages. But what the real part is, is that you guys can keep continuously go in and out of the Academy academy with it changing every single time and every single time you enter and go your academy pages updates so right you can head into the academy collect the page and come back out and you guys will see it will update play the academy like 10 or 20 times and once you guys have done that what you guys can do is you can play the academy once again and what you guys will notice is that when you roll the wheel at the very end of the academy you guys will notice that sometimes you land on a prize which you already have the academy wheel gives you academy pages so right here are the examples of all of those now you may or may not know this, but the Academy pages are stored in the currency section. Of it's over here, you guys can see I have 117 Academy pages. Now what you guys may not know is that when we head into the Academy, these pages continuously update themselves even if you do find a page. Right, so let's head to our side over here and give you guys an example. So the first thing which you guys can do is you can scavenge for pages. Right over here, you guys can see there's a page over here, so we collect it. Next. Right, let's click that next button and let's click on our suit of armor. Right, if you go to currency, you guys will notice that our academy pages have updated by one. So one of the methods which you guys can use is you can just continuously travel around the academy and collect these academy pages. The next thing which you guys can do is you can collect all five of these golden pages or battle the monsters which hog these pages. Now here's the thing about the monsters. Alright guys, so another method of getting academy pages is by battling these monsters. So do you guys see these monsters which have spawned in, in, the, in the academy next to these golden pages? Well one way to earn academy pages is by battling these monsters. Now for every monster you battle, you guys end up getting 10 academy pages, which is actually a decent amount. Jesus Christ, what is arcing outside? So now all I have to do is I have to cast three more spells before I can continue on with the rest of this video. Shablow! One more spell is needed to defeat the Celestiates, and then I will be able to destroy the world. Bam! So as you guys can see, I'm casting my last spell which is needed to obliterate Mr. Celestiate. And now here we go, we have murdered Celestiate with 4,000 damage. And now as you guys can see, the pet gets defeated. And now a U1 battle screen pops up in the chest, right? Unfortunately, I ended up with a normal chest, but if you click on it, you guys will tell that in terms of academy pages, you guys get 5 academy pages per battle, which you guys do. Alright, so I was wrong when I said 10 academy pages, but now you get 5, which is pretty cool. So you get 5 academy pages per battle, along with 50 gold coins. So now you guys can tell we just got an easy 5 pages and another easy 2 pages from collecting those, right? So it's practically super easy to get this stuff. Now the next thing which you guys will need to do is you'll just need to keep on roaming around the academy and continuously doing battles until you get 5 academy pages. Alright guys, so here you guys can see I have defeated another Celestia. And now that I've defeated the Celestia, I will collect my 5 11 battle stars. And then I'll collect my 5 membership stars. And then you guys will see we'll get an option to choose the chest to open. And once we get the option, we'll just open up the chest. Right? Bam! Here we go, we've opened up the chest. And now from this chest, you guys can tell I got 50 gold and 5 academy pages. Boom! It's only been a few seconds and now we have 10 academy pages. Right, so let's just collect that over there and continue going around. So guys, I was explaining a top secret method to get unlimited academy pages very quickly. Right, so now in order to complete this method, all you guys have to do is you have to collect 5 out of 5 academy pages and must have played in the academy before that. Because what you guys want to do is you want to be in the academy and have spun the academy wheel multiple times before to the point where you have all of the prizes. Right, so now once you guys hunt down the 5th academy page, I will be showing you guys what to do, just let me find it. Bam! Portal's over here. So now all you guys gotta do is you gotta click on the portal and now the academy wheel pops up. So now the wheel will start to spin itself and under certain circumstances you guys can get a crazy amount of loot depending on how rare the item is which you land on. Right so over here you guys can see I ended up on the academy, what is it called? 
I ended up on the academy thingy and as you guys saw it behind me dropped out the arc. Alright guys so over here as you guys can see the wheel is rolling. Now under certain times you may have realized that in this wheel you guys can end up on respawns. Now when respawns happen on this wheel, it happens to be that you sometimes end up on an item which you already have. Now when you guys end up on an item which you already have and you have the max amount of that item, well what happens is that you guys get academy pages for that instead of the item. So let's see if we'll get lucky over here and get some academy pages instead of an item, right? So it's just rolling, come on. Alright, let's let it choose what it wants to give us once again. And now over here, as you guys can see, now over here, as you guys can see, we got 15 academy pages for that wand. The wand went up through the top and fell down as academy pages. So that's another way to get quick academy pages. If you guys have done the academy enough times and enough amounts of times, you guys would have noticed that you've already unlocked all of the um, items which it gives you. And then you guys will get academy pages for every single battle which you guys can do. So right, now let's check the amount of academy pages which we have. And as you guys can see, in one run, we got approximately 20 academy pages. In one run, we ended up getting 40 academy pages, which is off the charts. One run is 40 academy pages if you guys follow this method. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, due to these circumstances, we ended up with 157 academy pages from one run. Which is kind of insane, because we got 5 per monster battle, and then we got these many academy pages, which, which is kind of cuckoo, but that's nice. Alright, we got a large sum of them. Now the next way which you guys can do this is you guys can use the earth tower. Now as you guys know in the earth tower you have to do 3 3 person monster battles. So it shouldn't be too hard you just have to search around and you basically have to follow the same type of concept in the earth tower. Except in the earth tower this time you guys are going to be hunting down earth type pets. And last but definitely not least what you guys can do is you can follow the uh, can be wheel spinning technique and you guys can spin the earth wheel inside of the earth tower and if you guys end up on a prize which you have already collected or have 99 off you guys will end up with um what do you call them a candy pages instead which would be pretty cool so the candy pages depend on the value of the item and now as you guys can see from our mini tour we have 176 a candy pages and we started this video off with 117 so what does that mean? We got a lot of academy pages in a very short amount of time. Right, so basically you just have to follow this method 10 or 20 times and you will have enough to buy an invisibility cloak. So all you gotta do is you just gotta take the elevator up there and just go into the floor and hunt down earth pets for monster battles, right? So when you enter the tower, I'm pretty sure you get like a couple, a hefty amount of, um, what do you call it? A hefty amount of um, academy pages for defeating these monsters. So right over here you guys can see I'm ended up in a monster battle against two force creators. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast an epic attack and destroy them. Kapow! Another spell answered correctly. And now here we go, we end up doing 5,000 damage to both of the ice crawlers. And we end up doing 3,000 to the opponent pet, but that's pretty cool. We've done a decent amount of damage and now as you guys can see, we'll be able to complete this battle with one shot and then we'll be able to get our 36 um, stars in total. So let's cast a spell supernova and murder all of these monsters instantly. Alright guys, so here we go, we're casting our spell supernova, doing 4000 damage to the opponent team, and now the entire opponent team is almost dead, meaning I'll just have to cast a few more spells and they all will be gone. Alright guys, so here we go, we're casting our spell to defeat the monster, and now our opponent monster has been defeated! Alright guys, so as you guys can tell, I've defeated the monster by doing 4000 damage, so now our battle is over, and as you guys can see, we'll receive our 32 battle stars, and then we'll receive our 4 or 5, 10, 11 member stars, right? Yeah, here we go, let's collect our 15 member stars, and now we have collected a grand total of 30 something member stars. Now let's open up our member chest, and as you guys can see, we get approximately, we get 150 gold and 5 academy pages. So it's basically the same in the academy, except now you have to battle 3 different monsters, right? Alright guys, so basically in the earth tower you basically have to do the same thing Except now inside of the earth tower what you guys will have to do is you guys will have to battle three monsters Which I would believe is much easier than trying to hunt down three academy pages Because you guys can tell I've only been in the academy for a few seconds And now this is a third monster which I'm going up against Shaplow, another question answered correctly And now we're casting our spell Supernova Which will end up doing approximately 4000 damage to all of the enemy team monsters Basically we just one shotted the entire monsters enemy team in one attack right there we go the entire monsters team is dead so now all we gotta do is we have to cast one spell destroying this flick foot and then we have to find another monster to battle 
Alright guys, so as you guys can see, I finished off this monster battle as well. So not only do you guys get 150 gold per monster battle, you guys also end up with a bunch of um, academy pages per battle. So if you guys end up doing 3 academy battles, well you guys end up with 15 pages automatically. And now I'd recommend you guys use the earth tower for these academy battles because there are more academy battles in the earth tower than there are in the academy archives. Because in the archives at maximum you can only do 2 battles, while in the earth tower you can do 3 battles. Shablamo! Last question answered correctly. And now we're casting our spell on the Vine Queen and now the Vine Queen has been eliminated. Sorry, you guys saw that right, I finally done the third monster battle which is needed. Now once you guys end up doing this third monster battle, all you guys have to do is you have to make your way back to the elevator. And once you do that, everything will be smooth sailing from here, right? So let me just quickly collect our stars and stuff and yeah. Alright guys, so now we've made it to the elevator, so let's click on the elevator. And as you guys can see, the wheel will come up. So now all you guys got to do is the wheel will spin itself automatically. And now depending on how many times you've played in the earth tower, you guys can get lucky. And if you guys end up getting lucky, you guys will get Academy um, our, our Archive pages instead of the points, right? So over here, unfortunately, I ended up on a potion, so let's spin the wheel again and see if we can end up on anything which will give us Academy Archive pages. Alright guys, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any Academy pages from that. But never mind, we, we still got lucky and got a, f a lot of member stars. So right, let's open up our Kevy pages, check our currency and see how many stars we got. Right, so over here from that battle, we ended up getting 20 um, Academy pages alone without collecting any, which is pretty cool. And now guys, you guys may be wondering what's so special about the about the Earth Tower. Well, here's the thing, the Earth Tower is a much better place to do this because A, the Earth Tower is bigger. And B, it basically has the entire same mechanics, except this time, you guys have the chance of battling three separate monster battles. Which means you guys can get 15 academy pages straight up by only doing monster battles. Which is a lot more than what you guys can get in the archives. The next thing is that there are lots of academy pages scattered in every room of the earth tower. So it's going to be much easier to spot the academy pages and collect them. So alright guys, that's all for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, give this video a humongous thumbs up, and I will be catching you all next time, when Dr. G is out the house, bye, have a good time.